Let's talk about Thai food for a moment. Arguably one of the best cuisines out there with flavors that will tickle your taste buds and spices that will leave you sweating, but still coming back for a little bit more. If this is your first trip coming to Thailand, then you, my friend, are in for a treat. The food is chef's kiss, it is just to die for. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video because we're gonna run you through our top 10 must try Thai foods on your first trip to the country of smiles. Thai food comes in so many different forms. You've got your street food snacks, your freshest seafood, and then of course your delicious sit down meals and sweet treats. But in this video, we're gonna focus on the proper meals that are gonna fill up your belly and are perfect for any lunch or dinner. So I hope you're hungry. <laughs> so we couldn't make a Thai food video without starting with the number one most popular and common dish here in the country, which is the Pad Thai. If you've never been to Thailand, if you don't eat Thai food, you've probably still heard of or tried a Pad Thai before. This is honestly just a beautiful starter and intro to Thai food, and there's a good chance you're gonna love it as much as we do. A Pad Thai is made up of a thin flat rice noodle. It consists of chives, onions, if you've got a wee bit of chili in there as well, tofu, a wee bit of scrambled egg throughout it. However, this time we have actually got more of an omelette style egg on top as well. Finish with a bit of fish sauce and then you've got your protein on top as well. You normally get a choice of chicken, shrimp, sometimes you get pork, but we always go for the chicken just to save fat and we just love chicken personally and it is gorgeous. And then what we really love about this dish, dish in particular, it comes finished with a wee bit of peanut that you can sprinkle right over the top. Sometimes it's already there for you, sometimes you get it on the side like this, and you always also get a wee lime that you can squeeze over the top as well, get a wee bit of sassiness on top of it, and then you will get your cucumbers on the side of the dish, just so you can finish it off with a nice refreshing taste in your mouth. This, honestly, this is gonna be your intro to Thai food, and probably the most common dish that you will have throughout the country. You'll never get sick of it, trust me on that one. And everywhere you go, they will have their own, like, kind of version of Pad Thai. This one in particular, you can see, has a bit of an orange ready color to the noodle, but a lot of the time you will get it a wee bit more pale. Some people will also give you the option of changing up your noodles. Sometimes you can get a yellow noodle instead of a rice noodle. But to be honest with you, you just can't go wrong. It's beautiful, it's simple, it's elegant, it's light, and it is the perfect lunch no matter where you're at in the country. I also nearly forgot about one of the key ingredients in every Pad Thai, which is bean sprouts. Something I was never a fan of or really understood before, thought it was a bit of a pointless vegetable. However, in a Pad Thai, you're gonna grow to love them too. <laughs> so this next one is for the spice lovers out there. This is a Thai green curry, which is probably one of the most commonly known Thai curries. And this one packs a punch. It is filled with red chilies in there, but there's loads of other flavors as well. You've got ginger, you've got shallots, there's shrimp paste, curry paste, and it's a coconut based one as well. And we have went for it filled with chicken as well. It's very creamy, but as I said, if you are a lover of spice, this is the one. And if you're not one for spice, I would maybe opt for one of the other curries. And like most of our curry dishes, we like to add a big plate of rice to go along with it. So a very common dish you find all over Thailand is a fried rice. And you can get this in so many different forms. Normally it's the one that most kind of Westerners or people coming here on holidays will go for. Plus the fried rice is kind of like a safe bet. But if you're looking something a wee bit more elite and something a wee bit aesthetically pleasing, this is the best fried rice to go for. This, my friends, is a pineapple fried rice. And as you can see, it comes inside a pineapple itself. They scoop out the middle of it, do the whole fried rice off on the wok, and then they chuck it back into the pineapple with all of the pineapple chunks that they've peeled out, cut up and spread out throughout it. It just looks incredible. Like, look at that. It's so visually pleasing. You've got your normal fried rice. This one is packed full of chicken as well. Onions, we have green peppers, we have red chilies. We have some crispy onions, and then one of my favorite parts of this dish is that it is topped with nuts, and not just any nuts, topped with loads of big cashew nuts. So, because it's filled with cashew nuts, this one's obviously a wee bit more pricey than your standard fried rice. You'll probably expect to pay around double for this one, but it is so worth it. For this next one, we're changing it up and we're going for a salad. However, it's a meaty salad. It's a Thai spicy lamb, 
salad. <laughs> this one, it has come separate. We've got the meat over here and all of the salad dressings here. But sometimes you get it served all together on one plate. But basically what a lab salad is, is a mixture of like a ground meat. So typically chicken, beef, pork, lamb, We've decided to go for a pork one and it is filled with so many different herbs. You've got your relishes, you've got onions, chives, garlic, lemongrass, red chilies, green chilies, and then you have it all topped off with like a lemon juice, which gives it this really good tangy taste. So this next dish is actually from Northern Thailand. So if you're not there, you're gonna have to go looking for it, but it is well worth it. This is a koi sao and it is so, so good. It's a wheat based noodle that's usually served with chicken on a bone. So either a drumstick or a leg and then it's topped off with these crispy noodles on top and it is so creamy. It is amazing. The curry is like a coconut based curry and then you also get a side here of like red onion, cabbage and then of course a little bit of lemon to give it that citrusy taste as well. This dish is one that we originally found in Chiang Mai but you can find it all over the north but it is so good. If you were to ask me what's the number one dish that you can't miss when you're here in Thailand, I definitely would say it's a pad per pad. This is by far my personal favorite dish. I literally have it nearly every single day when we're in Thailand here. I have it for either for my breakfast, my lunch, or my dinner. It's something so simple and so basic, but yet so, so good packed full of flavor. And what it actually is, is ground meat, either chicken, beef, or pork, stir fried off with some Thai holy basil, some chilies, lots of garlic, and some fish sauce, served on a bed of steamed rice, and then finished off with a fried egg, sunny side up. This one is just, it's so, so good. And it's proper spicy as well. This one will give you a bit of a kick. And this dish proves that sometimes it's the simple things that are the best. So this next dish is a little bit different from the other ones. This is a Thai soup. This is a coconut milk based Thai soup, which is also known as Tom Kai Ji. It's a really light and refreshing meal. If you're not looking something just as heavy as the rice and noodle dishes. So it is coconut milk based, and then you've got a mixture of big chunks of chicken in there. You've got lemon leaves. And then you also have, if I can find it in here, lemon grass stock as well so there's loads of different flavors going on in here you've got pieces of chili cut up so it's light but it's also quite tangy and citrusy a little bit salty but in all of the best ways whenever you get a big scoop of this you have got a mouthful and we're sticking with another thai soup for this next dish and this is a hot and sour shrimp tom yum this is beautiful as you can see it's a lovely rich orange color it normally comes either with shrimp or prawns we have went for shrimps in this one and they are big chunky shrimps it's made up of a tomato base as well which gives us this lovely rich color we've got tomatoes onions mushrooms lemongrass chopped coriander and loads of different spices and herbs as well a tom yum is also meant to have some different healing and medical properties if you have a flu a cold or feeling a wee bit unwell or down in the dumps this is meant to be the Thai dish that you should get to help you get over that. It's beautiful. And because it's us, we have asked for a spicy one as well. But we love this with a bit of white rice. And we use it nearly more like a curry than a soup. We'll pour a bit of this over the top of the rice because it's obviously filled with loads of goodness, loads of veg and different things going on. So we do enjoy it more like a curry than a soup by itself. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but we're gonna let you be the judge of that one. The next one we have up is a Penang curry, which is another red curry. However, this one is slightly different from your normal Thai red curry because this is thicker, sweeter, a little bit nuttier as well because the mixture of this one is actually made up of ground peanuts, which I just love. It's another coconut base. It's got all your same spices that you've got in your other curries, your coriander, your lemongrass, your onions, your chilies. But this curry doesn't come with lots of vegetables like a lot of the other curries do. This one is just made up of your meat, chicken, of course, and then you also have your herbs and spices. So if you don't want all the other fuss, if you're not gonna eat it and you just wanna get stuck into it, I'd recommend a Penang curry. 
So we have decided to finish out on what is my favorite Thai curry, and this is a Mazaman curry. It is creamy, it is smooth, it is just beautiful all around. What it is, is a red curry. It's made with red curry paste with also coconut milk. It's got a lovely big lump of chicken in the middle, stuffed, filled with potatoes as well, which I believe is why I love this curry so much. I'm an Irish man at heart, so of course I love potatoes. We've got loads of red chilies in there, a wee bit of coriander, loads of white onions, and again, topped with some peanuts as well to give it that lovely nutty feeling. This curry, honestly, it's a winner all around, and I guarantee you will love this one as well. I'm gonna get tucked straight into this with my trusty white steamed rice as well. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We really hope that it has helped you and hopefully inspired you to get out there and get creative with your Thai food when you're on your trip here to Thailand. Honestly, there's so many incredible dishes and to narrow them down to this top 10 was really, really difficult, but we got there in the end. But there's so many more out there that you should go and try and experiment with. Don't be afraid of the food. It's not as spicy as what you'd imagine unless you specify and ask for Thai spicy. I'm gonna get stuck into this Mazaman for now and we'll see you later. Cheers, lads.